Okay, we're ready to finish this lesson off now. We're going to create this little mini logo here. It's kind of a 3D looking thing. And then we'll also create these uh, mask uh, buttons. So first thing is we're going to draw a circle. And we're going to make the color of that circle match the compass banner. And I'm just going to draw any old circle to get it started. Then come down in my properties and change the width to 100 and the height to 100. So it'll be a 100 by 100 circle. Perfect. Now I want to add a 3D effect to it. So I'm going to come down to select it. Come down to effects. Bevel and emboss and an inner bevel. Now with a flat like that looks kind of weird. So I'm going to smooth it out. And then I'm going to increase that smooth factor up to 35. Try to give it a nice big 3D look. Um, to complete that 3D feel, I'm going to add a drop shadow. So I'm going to go to Effects, Shadow and Glow, and Drop Shadow. Now I'm going to change that distance to 10, make it the shadow cast a little longer. And I'm going to change the softness from 4 to 10. Now if you add an effect and you want to edit it, you can always click on that little eye right there and you can get it back up and make changes if you need to. Or if you want to delete an effect, you just click it, and then you press that little minus sign. Uh, if you click the check, you'll turn the effect off, and you can turn it right back on again. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, now I'm going to click on this little logo up here to select it. Then I'm going to press down my Shift and my Alt key, and I'm going to drag it out, and that will make a duplicate of it. Oh, I messed that up. Okay, I'll just do this. Edit duplicate there. Now I'm going to bring this over. Notice it's on the wrong layer. Close down my optimize. And I need to put this grouped object on top. There it is. And I want to try to get that in place. Now I'm going to use my alignment panel again. So I'm going to highlight both objects. Select them both. And now make sure the canvas is turned off because I'm aligning these things to each other. And I'm going to center them perfectly horizontally and center them perfectly vertically. Now that they're perfectly aligned, I'm going to group them together. Modify group. There we go. Now I can just resize this, scale it, holding down my shift key, and just eyeball it to get it to where you think it looks pretty good. keyboard a little bit. That looks pretty good. Okay, now let's do the little buttons. Um, we'll pause here.